Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I realise it's been about a year since my last one, but whatever. 1.13 has come out, and we have new bubble columns. And I've seen a number of people have difficulties getting mobs into them. So this video is going to quickly show you the method I've come up with. It's very simple. Um, it doesn't use pistons, because why would we want to use pistons? They're loud and slow. It just uses water streams. So let's get right into it. Alright, so the first mob we're going to be looking at is two tall mobs like creepers, skeletons, zombies. It works the same for all of them, even though uh, zombies and skeletons now do not float. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is make a quick little water stream to lead into it. You want to do that with a cobblestone wall, because um, that allows you to push the mob right up to this point here. Um, so this is the point where lots of people have had difficulty um, because the mob just gets stuck on this block even though they are in the, the bubble column. And this is sort of the main trick that I'm going to be showing you. It's just to knock out a block at the back here. Um, and that creates a water current that can just pull the mob the rest of the way in. So, you just um, they're really slow on the cobble wall because of the new water mechanics. But anyway, they get pulled in by that water stream and up they go. So we can see this in action. If you want to speed up the mob over the the wall you can just move your water source forwards a little bit but here we go creeper goes in up onto the slab and up into the lava super simple okay so now we're going to be looking at the cave spider this is pretty similar actually um, but obviously you only need one block space into the, the bubble column we're still going to use this cobble wall but you actually need to do a, a slab there which we're going to make waterlogged. So if I just fill all of this in, I'm going to need a sign there. Um, so that is the main part of it, and then you just want to get the mobs into it with just a standard sort of water stream, just like this. So we can put our cave spiders in there, and once again, we need to pop out the block at the back to get them the rest of the way, and up they go into the lava. Um, I believe this would also work with silverfish, but I think silverfish are probably easier to transport in block format anyway. So, yeah, that's how you do it with cave spiders. Alright, so now we're going to be looking at the third size of mob, which is just the regular spider. Um, and we're going to make a very simple system for this one. It's just a, a two-wide water stream with a two-wide space for the bubble column. Um, yeah, this water stream here pushes the mob fully in, so you don't need to do anything special for it. Um, we can just see that in action. And up he goes. So that's really easy. It's mainly the other two which were uh, more interesting, I thought. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. But um, yeah, videos won't be too frequent on my channel, so weigh that how you will. But anyway. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, and hopefully I will see you next time.